Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve a Hyper V virtual switch error you're coming across on your computer versus error applying virtual switch properties changes. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. And we are going to start by opening up the start menu. Type in Windows PowerShell. Best match, should come back a Windows PowerShell here. We're going to go ahead and select Run It as Administrator on the right side. We're going to go ahead and select Run as Administrator on the right side. It's going to say, Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Select the Yes. Okay, so now that we are in the PowerShell window here, just going to copy what I have in the description of the video and paste it into the top Windows PowerShell window, or you could type it in. So it would be net cfg space minus sign d. Then hit enter on your keyboard. Now you're going to have to restart your computer. So that's what we're going to do right now. Okay, so once that's done, hopefully the issue has been resolved and you can apply the external or internal switches that you're having the problem with before. And hopefully that should be better. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope that I was able to help you guys out. And as always, thanks for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.